Hey everyone, welcome back to this live broadcast, Making It Together Home Edition. And I just wanna say happy Friday. I actually can't believe it's Friday already. I feel like ever since I've been working from home, um, it's just been flying by. The weeks and days and hours have just been going so fast. So um, before we know it, it's going to be May and then it's going to be summer. And hopefully um, we'll be able to get back to some normalcy by the time summer rolls around. Um, but I just can't stop thinking about being able to go on vacation and uh, different things um, in the summer that are fun to do to be able to go outside and um, just be in the sun and in the fresh air and everything like that. And one thing that we always do every summer um, or we try to do is take a uh, week vacation in the Outer Banks. Um, and that got me thinking about um, just some like beachy things that um, people could actually start decorating now um, to get ahead of some of the um, profit opportunity that you could have in the upcoming season. So today we're going to be talking about um, some, well, there's going to be a few things. We're going to be doing three projects. Um, and three of the things being accessories that people typically purchase um, whenever they're getting ready to go on vacation, whether that's travel accessories or something that they need to be able to carry during summer, like a cooler and a big tote bag. So the three accessories that we're going to be heat applying are those two things in addition to that, a beach towel. And we're going to be decorating that in tie cut glitter flake. So um, we're going to be actually doing it in navy. Um, this is a really popular heat transfer vinyl when it comes to decorating accessories like these. Uh, in addition to flock and any um, uh, special effect material like metallic and of course your matte products as well. But this was the color um, that I found that was going to be the best match for the accessories that we're going to be heat applying today. Um, and I see you guys commenting in uh, a lot, a good bit of people from uh, YouTube and Facebook. So I always love seeing where you guys are joining from. Um, but I also want to know where you guys typically go on vacation. Like, where is your go to uh, place every year? Is it somewhere different or do you go to the same place every year? Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, it's always Outer Banks for us. But where do you guys uh, go on vacation? I'm curious to know. Let's switch it up a little bit about where you guys are from and hopefully where you're going to be headed in the upcoming months uh, once we're getting back to some normalcy. Um, while you guys are commenting in, um, I want to share my screen with you because I want to show you where I'm actually sourcing the accessories that we're going to be um, heat printing today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. This is Wholesale Boutique and one of the popular brands um, that they sell for is Viv and Lou. And you can get all of this stuff wholesale. There are some requirements. Um, I know there is a minimum, I believe, of like 200 pieces um, for your first order. So keep that in mind once you are with Wholesale Boutique. They do require a large first order to be able to get started with them. After that, that requirement goes away. So um, get a mix of things, um, of different things that you can sell to your customers that the, you know they're going to love. Some of the things um, I noticed that they just started purchasing, if you are in um, a boutique style of personalization, um, they're starting to uh, complement a lot of their accessories with jewelry as well. And I'm starting to notice this as a trend um, whenever people are selling boutique items like bags, purses, um, towels, kimonos, things like that. Uh, so they are really good at complementing a lot of things. So there's so much on their website to be able to choose from. So if you guys are looking uh, to get started um, with these styles of things, there's a variety of stuff to uh, choose from in here. And it's really easy to meet the first order minimum with them. Um, but I'm going to jump to spring and summer so that we can take a look at some stuff that we can actually heat apply. Um, and what's nice about Wholesale Boutique and Viv and Lou specifically is that they keep the decorator in mind. So whether you're embroidering personalization, you're doing monograms, if it's heat transfer vinyl, whatever the print method that's best for personalization, um, which we've always recommended to be heat transfer vinyl or embroidery, um, this is a great um, resource because whenever they're manufacturing their items, 
they're taking the printer in mind and into consideration um, because they leave areas of the garment that is super easy to be able to personalize. And I'll be able to show you some of that today. But I'm just gonna scroll through these so you can see a variety of stuff that they have to offer. They're always coming out with new patterns, whether it's reaching um, the kids are, or youth segment or the adult. Um, and there are like swimming trunks on here for kids and bathing suits and just a variety of different items. So just by going on the website and looking at all of the stuff they have to offer, it really pulls inspiration of all the different stuff that you'll be able to heat apply. Um, the metallic products that they offer, I absolutely um, love because it pairs so nicely with our CAD cut metallic and gold. Um, and I just think that that is like a really nice, high end, profitable item that you would be able to decorate with heat transfer vinyl to get that metallic finish and it be able to match this as well. So a lot of different items on here. Um, so definitely I encourage you to take a look on their website and pull some inspiration. Um, but I'm gonna show you the ex actual accessories that we'll be heat applying today. Um, so we are going to be heat applying a cooler and um, monograms aren't really popular in my area. Um, initials are those, so I'm just gonna be doing a standard initial, but showing you how you can increase your profit opportunity if you're looking to sell items like this by pairing a nice frame around it, um, just to make it a little more high end and something you could sell for a little bit more, as opposed to just a basic letter being put on here. But this is a cooler and there are some things in here that we need to um, take into consideration, such as the foam in here. We wanna make sure we're not crushing that. So we are gonna be utilizing an accessory, uh, but it's a really great quality bag. It's very durable um, and I just love that they came out with a cooler. It's not something that they had offered before uh, like this. They always did large tote bags for the beach and things like that. But this is a really cool item that I could see selling for a lot by adding personalization on it and uh, offering to your customers. In addition to that, with that pattern, they did a variety of accessories. So this is a great beach tote because it's not a material or like a soft fabric base, like a canvas or cotton that sand likes to try to get into and stay into the grooves of. This is a 100% polyester um, type of fabric and weave. So it's very durable. Um, it's easy to wipe down if it gets dirty. So this is a really good bag to travel with. And then they also did um, a beach towel in that same pattern as well. All right, so you can see why I went with the navy because the pattern is um, a little bit busy in that it has a lot of different dimension and texture in it um, in two different colors. And then their contrast color that they did with it was a navy. So that's why I went with the glitter flight because we're going to be the navy glitter flight because we're going to be printing on the pattern. And anytime you're printing on top of a pattern, that's when you want to consider um, what type of um, color you're going to put on there that's really going to stand out. Also, what type of finish. There are some best practices in practices when it comes to it really because you want to make sure that you're not um, your design isn't getting lost in a pattern right it's really the same best practices we always recommended with our pattern heat transfer vinyl you want to make sure there's a good contrast color that's really going to pop off in the pattern um, and that's why we always recommend there always be a solid color if you're doing anything with patterns all right so some more people coming in um, and commenting Kathy says she recently put her initial on um, their lunch bags and they love it. Yeah, so even if monograms aren't really popular in your area, and when I say monogram, it's the three initial, um, typically in a script font or a circle font and it has a frame around it. Um, those are popular in certain areas and, and with demographics, but um, you can get around that by just dropping a single initial or even just a name and still be able to profit with personalization like that as well. All right. Um, and Brian asks, thought they required a storefront. Has that changed? Brian, I'm not sure. It, I, I didn't know that you needed a storefront, um, but that's definitely something that I would check with them on. It may be a requirement, but I was not aware of it. So I do apologize for not having the answer to that right now. All right. All right, and some other uh, comments of where you guys are vacationing. Sheriff says she goes to Lake Tahoe. 
her home is Sacramento. Um, and visiting family in New Mexico, Alabama, uh, vacation in Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee. Right, yeah, so I'm from Pittsburgh um, in Pennsylvania, so I'm always going somewhere warm, uh, anywhere where I can. Uh, it, it can be hot and I can lay on a beach and um, have the ability to go into a pool of some sort. Uh, so yeah, that's why we always go to Outer Banks. We just love that area and um, we, Sometimes um, don't luck out with great weather. The past two years, we've actually had to evacuate because of hurricanes. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen this year, but we'll see. All right, so um, I'm going to show you one more resource when it comes to monograms and being able to initial with different um, wreaths um, and laurels, if you will. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen with you one more time and show you the CAD Cut Templates Online Designer. So this is something um, that you can order transfers with us in, but it's a great way to really get started with personalization with monograms or initials or just name drops because we have um, really cool ideas on here. And this really helps me pull ideas and inspiration for different frames and things um, to cut out of. Or if I want to just order these, they'll send it to me ready to heat apply. Um, so for example, there um, is a category under our template section sections known as monogram circle. Um, you can do monogram diamond, and we also have a universal monogram, which just is a variety of different ways that you can initial things and monogram things and choose and swap out different frames. But all of these are completely customizable um, because I didn't have time to order these transfers I created um, from scratch by just finding a free monogram frame um, online and then just dropping my initial on there. But this does have a lot of different things that you can utilize here. So let's say for example, we wanna use this frame with the arrows because that's pretty popular in monogram frames. All I have to do is go up here and swap out um, what my initials would be here or if I just wanted to do a standard um, single initial and swap out my text I can. So I can just choose to use a frame and I can use the um, templated text that goes with it, or I can add my own text in here if I wanted to do something a little bit fancier. So there's a variety of different um, fonts that you can choose from as well. So use to them to um, however you really need them. Uh, but really, you just drop them in here. And then at this point, you get to choose which material you want them in. So if I was going to be ordering this as a transfer for this particular project, I would choose my Glitter Flake Navy. It's going to show me what it looks like. Uh, and then I just add that to the cart and check out. And it sends it to me cut like this. And all I have to do is heat apply. Um, but templates is a really great way uh, to come and pull inspiration from if you're not wanting to order from a transfer. Uh, but a really great resource because we stay um, pretty up to date about what's trending um, with templates in general. So it's not just for monograms. Keep that in mind. You can um, get a, a variety of different heat transfer designs in here as well. Um, I was just showing you the monogram specifically for um, the design element that we're creating today. But there's a lot of different stuff in here that you can utilize that uh, is a really great resource for you. All right, so uh, yeah, you can easily get monograms online through our CAD Cut uh, Templates Designer, and it'll come to you ready to heat apply, or you can cut it out on your vinyl cutter. So I'm actually going to be cutting this design. So I'll share my screen with you once more. So you can see it's mirrored right now. I just did a standard frame um, that I thought would look good with the pattern that I'm heat applying so that it wasn't too busy. Um, and it just dropped in a simple initial there. So um, I'm going to send this design to cut. And while that is cutting, I'm going to be reviewing with you some um, heat printing accessories that we're going to be utilizing for our applications today so that you can um, kind of get the idea of the importance of having some of these accessories on hand. All right, so I'm going to grab those accessories. So the first thing um, always is a cover sheet, right? So I love to just use a craft paper because I think they're really easy throwaways um, and they're really easy to handle. They don't like flop on me. 
um, kind of like the Teflon sheet does because it's just kind of like it doesn't stay stiff whenever I'm trying to move it around to cover a design. I can easily cut this down if I need it to if I'm working with a smaller heat press. Right now I'm just working with the standard size that it comes in. And these are really easy throwaways because they come in a pack of 25 for like 10 bucks. All right, so craft paper, really easy uh, to keep, really nice to keep on hand and really easy to work with. In addition to that heat printing accessory, we'll also be working with heat printing pillows. The reason we're gonna be using the heat printing pillows today is because we wanna be able to isolate certain areas of the accessories that we're heat applying. And the accessories have a lot of different hardware and obstructions in them that could cause uneven pressure. Um, and whenever you're not working with heat presses, such as um, the Hotronics Auto Plan, for example, or the Fusion, they all have interchangeable platens that allow you to thread on accessories, such as the ones we'll be using today. Um, and they make it super easy to isolate certain areas. Since we're going to be working with the 9 by 12 press, we need to make sure that we're able to isolate those areas although we don't have the threadability option like the other presses offer. Um, because this has a footprint right here that's pretty wide, I'm unable to thread anything under there and make sure I'm getting a really flat surface. So if you're also working with heat presses like that, um, these heat printing pillows are gonna come in handy because they will allow you to isolate certain areas and get obstructions or hardware uh, out of the way completely from getting a nice flat print area. Um, another reason uh, pillows are a really great um, accessory to have is because they have a uh, foam inside of them that is pretty dense and allows any hardware that could even be exposed or in the way of the design to sink down into the pillow, all right, because the pressure from the upper heating element is actually going to take those items and sink them down into the pillow, but leave the print area open and raised in order for that adhesive to get exposed to the heat, the temperature, and the amount of pressure it needs to start curing to that accessory. So those heat printing pillows do all that. Um, it's probably a little confusing for me to sit here and try to explain to you, so I'll actually show you how they work, but these are really great resources um, and accessories. They come in a variety of different sizes um, so that you can isolate small areas if you need to. And then um, they even come in one, which I have found very handy, especially if you're working with a smaller press without a threadable option, um, is the leg and sleeve. So if you wanted to do the sleeves of a um, long sleeve garment and do personalization down the sleeve, it's like a six by 20 pillow that threads right in there and gets the seams out of the way that usually cause that uneven pressure and keeps something from adhering accurately. Also really helps with sweatpants as well. Right, so the first design we're going to be doing while um, that finishes up cutting is actually the beach towel. Uh, so this is a pretty large design that we're going to be um, heat applying. So it's going to be a two-step application. Uh, beforehand, I pre-measured um, my towel, and it's about 30 inches in width. And I didn't want this to look too small on the towel, so I went 18 inches in width for this one so that we could get a decent oversized design here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply from center out just to make sure I am I'm not missing my alignment here. So all I'm doing is taking the back piece and dropping it out. And then I'm gonna lift this up just to see if I'm getting pretty centered there. All right, and I'm gonna go just above that navy line. And now I'm going to center my transfer as well. Right, and now I'm just lifting up the sides of my towel to make sure I'm not exceeding at all and I'm getting pretty centered. I'm gonna move that over slightly, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna press the center real quick just to get it tacked so I know exactly where I want it to fall on the heat press and then I'm going to slide over to the side, apply that one in half and then also do it on the other side. 
That way I'm getting the full adhesion each time. All right, so glitter flake applies at 302 degrees for uh, just 10 seconds. And that is what I have my heat press set for already. So that's just gonna do the rest of the work for me. And then I'll move over to the other side. Some other materials I've used on towels is flock, uh, fashion film, and metallic, right? So whenever you're working with towels, a few things you wanna keep in mind is the pile of the towel, because that is going to really determine what type of heat transfer vinyl you use, right? So the, that design's complete, but uh, you can see um, that this isn't really getting lost because the towel is a short pile. It's not, doesn't have any really high um, fibers that are raised or sticking up. That would cause the adhesive to not apply properly, right? There are some towels, typically we see that in like bath towels uh, where people will choose to do a monogram um, in embroidery or some type of personalization in, in embroidery instead because the pile is too high and they don't want to use adhesive because the adhesive um, heat transfer vinyl won't really sink down in between those fibers. Because we're using a beach towel that is such a uh, thin material there and there aren't really um, any thick fibers getting in the way, we can use heat transfer vinyl. There is um, a heat transfer vinyl that does work for a high pile type of towel or material and that is flock heat transfer vinyl. Um, you may have seen it um, on Sherpa. It's a heat transfer vinyl that we recommend for doing on Sherpa if you need a quick personalization solution. So keep flock in mind if you are ever working with a product that has a really high pile to it because um, that is going to be a really great product. It has an embroidery look and feel to it because it is raised and dimensional and it has a suede-like finish to it. All right, so Glitter Flake um, was able to pick up some decent um, detail there. So that's why I, another reason why I like using Glitter Flake for initials and monograms and different frames and things like that. All right, so this is all weeded out in one pool. I really like that because it keeps the production process time down uh, so that we're not spending too much time there. All right, so we can go ahead and heat apply those and we're gonna be utilizing those heat printing accessories. So the first thing I'm gonna do um, is the cooler. And the first thing I need to make sure that I'm doing here is decreasing my pressure significantly because this whole thing is gonna be dropped on there. All right, so with that, I need to give this several turns to be able to decrease that pressure. And I'm just gonna test that by bringing it down. It's not even touching the platen. So we will test that. I'm gonna drop this and down in the back because we don't even need that on there. We really are just isolating this area right here. So the other thing we need is our heat printing pillow, which I put over here. All right, so we're doing the small monogram on this one, so I only need this size pillow. And I'm just going to drop that right inside the bag there making sure it's right where I want my print to be. All right, and again, I'm making sure that top pouch that zips up in the front is falling off the back. And I'm gonna lock this down to see where our pressure is at. All right, still a little bit too high for me, so I'm gonna dial this back some more. All right, there we go. So we're at a good medium pressure here, which I'm comfortable with because I wanna make sure my glitter flake is getting a decent enough of pressure here to make sure this is heat applying accurately.
All right. I am going to use a cover sheet for this because I want to make sure that I am protecting those zippers. Um, not that I'm afraid the zipper is going to melt because it's not a plastic zipper, it is a metal zipper, but I want to make sure those are not scratching my upper heating element. So that's another good reason to use a cover sheet is to protect your upper heating element from getting damaged whenever you're working with different accessories. And I will bring this up close so that you guys can see the peel and how this worked out. All right, so I can go ahead and remove my pillow. All right, and now I can remove that carrier as well. So we have a completely heat applied cooling bag, All right? Didn't damage the cooling insulation in here at all because we're not at a high of enough temperature. Glitter Flake does apply at 300 degrees, which isn't too high. Um, if you are ever worried about a really high temperature in heat transfer vinyl, consider dropping it in a heat transfer vinyl that applies in a lower temperature even more, just for peace of mind. Uh, another thing that you could utilize is something known as a flexible application pad. It's a rubberized cover sheet that really protects heat, heat sensitive items. So if you're ever in a circumstance um, where something could potentially melt, consider using that as well. All right, and I'll zip this up so you can see the full effect here. All right, so Glitter Flake ultimately adds a really nice premium look to the bag. We didn't damage it at all, scorch it at all, so it's still uh, completely sellable and retail ready at this point for your customers. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the tote bag the tote bag isn't something uh, that I'm too concerned with because it doesn't have a lining in here aside from just this plastic, like really durable uh, material. Uh, and I'm gonna be heat printing on this side. Uh, the only thing that could potentially cause uneven pressure are these straps here because those are pretty thick straps. So I'm gonna hold that up pretty close so you can see the density of that against the flat part of the bag here. All right, so that could potentially cause uneven pressure. So I'm gonna make sure to still utilize my pillow there. And I'm just going to be laying this flat, making sure that the pocket on the inside is falling off the back of the platen. And I'm gonna grab my bigger pillow here and insert that since we are working with a bigger bag. <coughs> All right, so straps going in the back of the heat press. There is an insert in the bag that is causing uneven pressure right now, so that can come out as well. All right, so the pillow is directly under those straps, so those are gonna sink down in and allow for the print area to be raised up so that we're getting a nice durable pressure there and a good adhesion. So whenever you are placing prints on bags, this is a little best practice for you. Uh, even if it's not an initial, maybe it's a, a popular text or saying or something like that, um, always think about your uh, placement. You don't want to go exactly middle of the bag because that can cause the uh, design to look like it's dropping down as you start to fill it. So always go a little bit above center. For this particular design, I am going a little bit closer to the straps because I like for initials to be a little bit higher and not exactly like center of the bag. So that is going to be raised up a little bit um, even more so than middle or like your standard center print. Right, so I'm gonna to need to test my pressure here because we had some really high density in our last application. Okay, so ended up working out fine, medium pressure. And again, the press just does the rest of the work for you. So as long as you have everything cued into the heat press, it will apply your design. And as long as you're using the right accessories, you don't have to worry about a design not applying accurately. 
right? So now that is complete. And now I can sell these three accessories as a set. So what's nice about this is, and Wholesale Boutique is their accessories. Um, they're priced at really good price points so that you can sell all the items together as a package or even uh, onesie twosies um, for friends and family, even if you wanted to. Uh, but these are all really great accessories that ultimately can lead to some profit opportunity for you for the upcoming season. Um, and that really completes the uh, live for today. I just wanted to come on and show you um, some unique things that you can start considering, uh, whether that's getting started with Wholesale Boutique um, or just finding accessories. I do know um, if they do have a requirement um, that you have Storefront. I do know that people um, will resell for Wholesale Boutique. So look into that as well. Um, if that is a requirement, I apologize for not knowing the answer to that. But um, there are people that do resell for them. So consider some of them as resources in order to access some of the blanks for you to be able to heat apply. All right. So I'm going to take some questions and uh, review some of the comments. So let's go ahead and visit the comment section. All right, great combination of colors. Yes, I agree. I think that they do such a good job in just combining colors so that you have an easy way to just mix and match uh, the thread that you may be embroidering or even a heat transfer vinyl to it as well. All right. So Ken says he's from Frank Bortmus. I'm, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right, but really no need to vacation anywhere. Um, that's nice, yeah. All right. KF Christie, can you export to a cutter? Um, if you are talking about CAD cut templates, no, you cannot. So that is a artwork platform that we provide to you for uh, clip art and templates for you to be able to order transfers with us. Um, but we do have uh, some pretty similar stuff um, in CADWorks that you can utilize as far as um, templates and fonts um, and clip art that you can utilize in there. And actually we're working on, for those of you that are in CADWorks already and you're thinking like, no, the templates aren't cool. <laughs> um, yeah, we are working on updating those currently. Uh, we're starting to add some updated templates and things. So. I would expect some monogram frames to be in there. Uh, new fonts are coming, new templates overall. So um, you'll probably expect to see those um, really soon. We're currently updating templates right now. Um, so even if you're not in CADWorks um, right now, if you were to sign in, you would be able to have access to some of the new templates um, we started adding today. So just keep that in mind. Uh, even though CAD cut templates on the Stalls website is something that you have to order in transfers, we still offer the free online artwork program, CADWorks Live, which you can utilize to create uh, very similar things. That's actually how I created the monogram that we did today right in CADWorks. All right, and yes, uh, Wholesale Boutique does really have um, nice merchandise for you to check out there. All right, uh, Karen, is there a way for us to request certain templates clip art to be added? send them my way. <laughs> uh, message us on Facebook. Um, you can email me. Um, I'll share my email to you right now, actually, because uh, I'm actually working um, with a team to um, add all the templates now. So if you guys have any ideas or maybe even um, some artwork that you have created that maybe you want us to utilize, um, send them my way and we can get them added um, very quickly. Right. So it's just as easy as signing on and just adding some of our art, artwork to it. So always interested in taking uh, inspiration from you guys and ideas from you guys. So just let us know. All right. And um, Rob asks, I am new to this. What brand slash make was the printer you use? So I am using um, the Cricut Explore Air uh, 2. Uh, Cricut makes a variety of different cutters, um, but I'm really most familiar with the um, Explore Air. Um, and then um, there's a lot of other uh, desktop cutters that are really great. Um, Silhouette is really good. Brother Scan and Cut, they're really great brands and they're all compatible with a variety of vinyls and fabrics. 
Uh, and then the heat press that I'm utilizing is our nine by 12 craft pink press. Um, and you can access this right on stalls.com or on transfer express as well. So I'll have uh, the team members that are live with me here today, share a link with you so that you can check those out. All right. Ken says we need color templates in CAD work. So I will keep that in mind. And Pam says face masks. So that's a great question or statement. <laughs> um, so we did actually just add face masks to our website. Um, we have two different um, website or not websites, um, face masks that you can access on our website. There is an economy one and I actually have a sample of it. I was going to wait until Monday on my talk with them, but I'll give you a little preview of it. If you guys weren't able to um, see it in Josh's live where he was showing me. So um, these are a single ply face mask. They come in gray, black, and navy. All right, so it's just a fabric. I don't want you guys to um, be disappointed if you order this one and you were expecting it to have like a filter and everything. So this one is the economy one. It's single ply. It has two um, ear holes for you to utilize based off of the size of your head or width from ear to ear. I use the first one and it covers pretty well. So I usually take it from down here and then just pull it up. And then my face is a little short, so I have to like curve that under but that's how it fits. And these are super easy to personalize and customize. You could even um, market these as face covers or just something for people to put over top of their current mask if they feel like they want another layer. Um, so this is the economy mask. We will also um, be doing um, a premium face mask that actually has a filter in it as well. I don't have those on me, but if you guys are interested in seeing those, um, you can check those out um, on the live that Josh did in the Heat Press for Profit group. If you're not there, um, just it's free to join. So you guys can go see it there. It's in the video section of that group. Um, Pam says, sorry, I was referring to face masks as a graphic and graphic and CAD works. So thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I went into that whole spiel and that's not even what you were asking for. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. Um, but yeah, no, we do need to add a, a lot more. So that is a good idea, um, especially since that's such a trend. Now we're starting to see face masks added to a variety of different templates um, for seniors, uh, people missing out on prom, like things like that. So um, just some like fun little face mask templates and clip art that are being added. All right. Um, Carolina asks, I have a monogram vine font I had to buy, but it would be nice to have it in CADWorks Live for people to use as well as the popular background like Chevron and some borders. All right. Great idea. Yeah. So um, we just started um, the adding new templates today. So if you do go into CADWorks now and see a bunch of old school templates, that's because those were created um, from like early 2000s or whenever CADWorks came out. I don't even remember when it came out, um, but we'll start adding a lot of things. Monogram frames is on the list and just new updated templates and clip art that um, you guys need to be able to create up to date graphics without having to pay someone to do that for you or spend a ton of time um, in production doing that if you're not like really um, savvy with like art design like me. So I have to use CADWorks for all my stuff because I can't do a lot of the stuff in, uh, in Adobe or Corel and things like that. <clears throat> all right. And yes, Cassandra, Josh did talk about the face mask. So he has been talking about them nonstop for a couple of weeks now. So just go to the heat press for profit Facebook group and um, they will be able to, uh, or you'll be able to see those in the video section. Linda asked, you have an Instagram. So um, yeah, um, we have a stalls heat printing on um, Instagram. So I'll have Danielle who's on here with me, share the link to our Instagram. Uh, we're doing uh, some Instagram television videos um, to share there now with a sales rep, Kelly Walters. 
Um, so if you guys are in the Kansas and Missouri area, you probably know Kelly pretty well. She is a um, rep for that area. And um, she's doing a lot of the lives on there and we're constantly feeding content there as well. And we just started um, adding videos to TikTok as well. So if you guys are on TikTok or looking uh, for another way to source some of the content that we're feeding, TikTok is a really great um, option. Um, you can get lost in TikTok. I have fallen down that rabbit hole several times. All right, so um, thank you guys so much for joining me. So feel free to, um, yeah, check us out on some other social platforms. Of course, we're on YouTube. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe there so you can constantly get updates about us um, publishing videos. Um, and then, of course, follow the Facebook page if you haven't already so that you can um, consist consistently be updated there. Um, and I hope to see you guys on Monday. We are continuing the social media takeover with impressions. So uh, Monday morning, I'll actually be going live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And um, we'll be on the impressions group, but I'll also be feeding to YouTube and um, the Stalls All Things He Printing Facebook page. So, yeah, um, on all social platforms. So I hope to see you guys um, on some more of those. And I hope to see you on Monday as well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks again. I'll see you on Monday.